Hey, welcome back. Man, I'm in San Francisco. Many of you all know I've moved to LA, but I've come up north for the Purpose Prize. Uh, but I couldn't help uh, wanting to stop by and see my, my good friend Greg Werkheiser here, who is also from the DC area. We met when you were doing the Phoenix Project, um, went over to George Mason University and did an insanely powerful social enterprise class. But then, boom, out of the blue, Greg gets tapped to basically turn the Presidio uh, and this amazing campus um, into a social enterprise hub. So please, man, tell me a little bit about, I mean, I'm looking around here, it's just insane the scale of what you're up to here. That's amazing. Well, this is the former uh, military base called Fort Scott, and uh, it was in operation. These buildings that you're looking at um, in this U were built around 1910, 1912. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, I love the style, man. It's like totally, you know. Mission the, Revival. Yeah, beautiful yeah, Mission yeah, Revival. Beautiful setup. So it's basically the size of a college campus, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn the whole thing into a place for leadership development for folks who are going to tackle the biggest challenges uh, of the next hundred years. And I think what will be distinctive is we're going to try and bring people uh, not just from social enterprise, but across seven distinct traditions of American service, right? So we're going to, this will be a home for. Uh, social entrepreneurs, people who are involved in uh, civic engagement, uh, philanthropy. You're on the, now, man. You're oh, I know. I'm like, I feel like, uh, who's the governor of Texas, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, but we're talking about uh, volunteerism, national service, corporate social responsibility. What's the one I missed? Philanthropy. Love. What? Philanthropy. 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 Yeah, there and love, go. of course, because yeah. Rob Rager is going to have a whole building that's just going to say, I love the road. Yeah. And hey, thanks uh, to Sarah, our camera lady here, our camera woman, for pulling out number seven. Absolutely. Um, but she you know, always... so here we are on the quad. Yep. So in theory, people instead of throwing frisbees, they're going to be winging ideas around at each other, right? Back and forth. Back and forth. Wow. Yeah. So what's the scale now? You've got two buildings going on right now. We've got uh, the main headquarters building done. We'll have one of the former military barracks done and turned into tenant space and plenary spaces by the summer. The one after that is going to be residences, and then this whole row, which goes all the way out to the Golden Gate, is going to be nothing but. Uh, residences. So at some point we'll be able to have 600 people here, 100 headquarter offices for organizations from across the, the uh, spectrum of sectors and across those seven traditions. Um, and the idea is that, um, you know, there is some, cr like you did see forward right? right? Right. And at the end of the day, that was really about cross-pollinating the wisdom from the nonprofit sector with the political sector and saying to nonprofits, get off your butt and don't be afraid to get involved in policy, in politics. If right. anything, you should be the people doing it. But that cross-pollination between those distinct sec sectors doesn't happen, right. those traditions doesn't happen. And so... Unless you make it happen. Unless you make it happen. That's what we're going to try and do. Right we're going to try and force it in a, in a gentle but constructive way to happen here. Well, you know what's wild, man? I've always felt that, that social enterprise is a potential mayor's best friend. Because, uh -huh. I mean, what's better than mm. businesses that pay good wages, yep. have great green policies, and then reinvest any profit over and over and over. You think mayors, and again, C4 was about saying to mayors, dudes, wise up, wise up. This is the future. It's not gonna be the big one factory. Yep. It's gonna be thousands of amazing small businesses dedicated to making the community strong. That's right. We just had, as a guest out here, we had someone who's walking, uh, working now in the San Francisco Mayor's Office for Innovation. Right. And that is going to be so commonplace 10 years from it now. It has to be. Um, and you know, there's a lot of talk about the merger between, or the, the synergy between the uh, for-profit and the social sector and how they're getting closer by day. But government has, still, has the resources. You bet. And they're just going to eventually, at some point, purchase their way into the game. Right. And, and we're going to see the breakdown of these sectors. And so we want to celebrate their unique history and their traditions, but at the same time, we want to we recognize that the problems that we're going to be facing over the next 10 to uh, 50 years are so different in kind and in scope and in scale right. that we need a new kind of artist to be out there solving. Well, you know one of the things we were talking about also is going to be the amazing opportunity that, that public health and the, the aging population at, uh, for social enterprise. Mm -hmm. the, the huge amount of money that will come in and the powerful need for a new way to look at aging, yep. healthcare, mm -hmm. longevity. Mm -hmm. um, so there's so many opportunities and dude, I know you are gonna lead mm -hmm. the pack. Well, so, we're both out, out in California now, so we'll both have to learn how to speak a little bit slower in order for <laughs> people out here to understand us. But uh, hopefully we'll bring a little bit of that DC mojo out here and, we will. and uh, learn from the process. So, right on, man. Yeah, thanks for visiting. Oh, a pleasure. All so, right. And I'll see you down the road.